What's going on, people? I am back at another video. It feels, I don't, maybe I always say this, but it always feels like it's been a while. It usually feels like it's been a while. I think the last unboxing was, I guess, sometime last week, maybe? I, yeah, I think it was like the first or something. So it's only really been a week, but it just feels like a lot of time has passed. Maybe it's because I've been looking forward to like the shoes that I just got in. So you probably saw the thumbnail and all that stuff already, so no point in hiding what it is. But the thing is, right, so I consider myself to be an Ultra Boost guy. I've said that before in a video or two or several. But uh, this last release, though, I, I don't know, man. I just wasn't... I wanted to like it a lot more than I do, right? And we'll see how I feel once I get them on feet and all that stuff. But the thing is, when they said, hey, we got the Ultra Boost 2019s coming around... I was like, yeah, let's do that. Let's bring these things in here. I'm trying to see what this is all about. And then they did, and I was like, oh, okay, well, huh, right? You know, like, a little bit of disappointment, honestly, because uh, those first couple colors, well, those first several colors were not for me. Um, but I figured I'll eventually get a pair. It's either going to be a, good, a color that I really like, or they're going to give me a price that I'm okay with. It happened to be the latter. Though, a little bit of the former, just a little bit. Anyway, so here we have it, right? Loose box, right? Yellow top, all that good stuff, the white stripes. Let's get into this, because I'm trying to see what these things look like up close. Oh, well, it's a... Yeah, it doesn't really say, because Adidas are like that, but, hmm. Got a slightly different on the inside here. This time around, they've got the boost like written out on the paper, so that's kind of a nice touch, you know? But, let's see. This right here, this right here. Put that up real close where you guys can see it. This is the Ice Mint Adidas Ultra Boost 19, right? So, looking at it up close, it actually looks pretty nice. You know, I don't have any real complaints, minus a slight stitching issue on the side here, but whatever, I'll let that go. So as I was saying, right, I didn't really care a whole lot for these shoes when they first came out. Not this particular color, but the original colors. Just the silhouette itself, I just was not on board. I mean, I have one out here. So this was like the 4.0, right? That's what those used to look like. And that's fine. They looked very similar to the 3s and very similar to the 2s. And probably very similar to the 1s. I can't picture them because I never had any. But then they switched up a bit, you know, the heel, the heel cup area is not like that, not this, you know, for this like a solid piece, they switched it up here, the stripes that you have here, like standard Adidas style, this you still have them, but you can't really see them all the time, and then this, that whole thing, it's just a little weird to me. Other than that, the, the, the shoe is largely the same, minus like the stitching pattern, because they got this little piece over here, and then like the extra thick boost in the back. So, that being said, let me pull out shoe number two real quick, and then we can knock out this review here, because you know, why not, right? Because I'm, honestly, I kind of want to get to the on-foot part, because I've never actually worn a pair of these, which is crazy, right? But I'm trying to see what they feel like. Uh, my aunt said really good things about her pair. I got her a pair before me. It's crazy. Craziness. Anyways. <sighs> review time. So, this right here, as I said, is the Adidas Ultra Boost 19 in the Ice Mint colorway, right? So these started coming out sometime earlier in the year, and they've been rolling out a few colors here and there. I guess hoping that the, one of them catches on. So far, hasn't really happened. But, they're going to stick with it because that's what they do, at least until they do the next remodel. So, as I was saying, slide in here, show these up close for you. So, <clears throat> the booth here on the back, you can kind of see it's a, it's a little... I, mean, I guess they always looked like that. I never noticed that how uneven it was, but it, it makes a more profound look on here just because of the extra thick boost in, in general. But anyway, so typical midsole, nothing fancy about that. Same outsole, again, nothing fancy about that. Still continental, as you see on the top. And then moving past that, that's where things get switched up just a little bit. So this here, you can kind of see like the light stitching across the toe here. Well, 
little behind the toes or whatever. But it's got this kind of light green thing going across there. All of them seem to have that in one way or another. The stitching pattern itself is still lined out similar to how these were. And then on the back, this looks more, it looks a lot different. I mean, part of it could be that you don't have like the heel cup blocking the, your view of the most of this back here. But really it's just this looks like it's more stitched than the other one. Looks like a lot of just yarn in a sense and it's really soft a lot softer than I would have expected it to be in the back here it also looks very well cushioned on the inside you can kind of see that there and then on the top a little bit which the other one the oh, I'm trying to be careful because I haven't cleaned these and like walking around outside uh, anyway so you can kind of see these on the inside it's a little flatter just I mean it's got decent cushion around the top but that's about where it that's where it stops honestly and then on the inside, I kind of like that nice green insole there that they have. But anyway, so as far as the upper goes, the coloring and all that, I do like this ice mint color. It's actually pretty nice in person. They have another, another color that's very similar with a black boost and a slightly darker green. And those, those might make it into the lineup eventually, but we'll see. We'll see. Uh, past that, past all this stitching and all this, this, the cage that they have on here, not as big of a fan of this as the last models. I mean, it just doesn't, to me, look as good. I think if they had gone with coloring the stripes, then I would have been a little more on board. But in this particular case, it just looks, I don't know, kind of bad, honestly. I mean, just to, you know, call it what it is. But hey, whatever, you know, some people probably like it, I don't, let me know what you think down below. Also very unrelated to this, but I feel like I need to pick up a pair of New Balances. So if you happen to have any suggestions on various New Balance models, throw that down below too. Anyways, back to what we we're talking about. That cage, I could do without it, but it looks like you could probably fairly easily remove it. And I know a lot of people were doing that when it came to like the, uh, the previous models because they just didn't like it being on there so they were taking them off I just bought the uncaged models and called it a day because I thought that was just easier until they stopped making the uncaged ones but anyways so past that let's let's see how this feels in hand because uh, I haven't messed around with them too much but this the the prime that feels just as stretchy a little little stiff I don't, I don't want to say completely stiff, but I mean, as you wear these, the fabric kind of expands, gets a little softer, you know, gets closer to what your foot is like. Kind of like I always say with those Yeezys. But right off the top, I mean, you can feel it more so up here, and but down here it feels a little, just a little stiffer, but it kind of, you'd probably want a little more um, of a rigid feel down in the toe just to kind of keep your feet from all sliding around and all that stuff. But we'll see how these stack up when I actually start running in them, because that's the large part of the reason I buy these shoes. They're just very comfortable for running. And then I'll want to compare these to, obviously, like the newer Vapormaxes, the Flyknits, of course, because those are, to me, a, comp a comparable shoe when it comes to that. You know, all, this, all the styling is very similar, the, and I like them both for running, so I'll see what I like more. But... As for that, as for the review portion of this, I don't have anything else to really say. Give you guys one more little close-up look at this. There's the back, there's the side, there's the other side. Again, pretty similar all around. Nothing new about these shoes. They've been out for several months. They're just new to me, new to the channel. And that's about the end of that. But yeah, so now that that has happened, time to go throw these things on foot and see how that works out. I'll be back in a moment. You guys sit right there. I'll be, okay. I'll be over here. Hang out. All right, I'm back, obviously. And so uh, after trying these things on, I gotta say, and doing a quick comparison with the the three, the four point those black and red ones I had up earlier, these are actually more comfortable. So that's that's pretty nice. I mean, it's what you would expect, right? From a remodeled shoe, it should be better than the last one. But in this particular case, it actually is. Quick close up here before I get those videos rolling in here. There you go, this is what we're talking about, the Ice Mint Ultra Boost 19, right? Okay, so now, let's uh, let's talk about the sizing now that 
that's out of the way. So, shoes here. So one of the things about these for me, right? I go with a nine and a half in my Adidas shoes. So these are nine and a half as well. My previous Ultra Boost all nine and a half as well. All that stuff, and these fit exactly like I expected them to. So whatever size that you've bought in the past for this type of shoe, buy that size, right? It's to me, it's a. I'd say it's a true to size fit for my Adidas shoes, right? Uh, again, on my Nikes, I do go with a nine for pretty much everything. It's just for some reason, these uh, seem to fit better at a nine and a half, Adidas that is. Maybe you have the same issue, maybe you don't, I don't know. I'm just putting it out there so you have something to go off of when you're figuring out what size to buy. But anyways, as far as like the feeling of the shoe goes and all that, the back of here, this boost, like, it is a little stiffer than the previous model, but not in a bad way. It's just, some people thought that Ultra Boost was too cushiony. I never thought that, honestly, I thought it was fine. But this, it is kind of a welcome change, and in a way reminds me more of what you might find on, like, the, was that, the Night Joggers? Because those, I, I said the same thing, like, comparing the Night Jogger to the Aniki Runner or the 5923. It's just a little more solid, but it's still comfortable. Very comfortable, actually. I kind of need to get, I want to get another pair, but I just don't see a lot of night jogger colors I like. Anyway, so moving past that, the upper, the other part that, you know, is worth talking about here. So moving my feet around and all that stuff, I will say overall, putting it on at first, it does feel a little stiff, but I'm going to give it some time because, again, these are fresh out the box. And this toe area here, I was wondering if it would feel a little more restrictive than the Ultra Boost 4.0s or 3s. Nope, it did not. It felt actually better. So maybe it's just the way that they've stitched these this time around, but all around, comfort-wise, this shoe is better than the 4s, better than the 3s. Visually, that's, uh, that's, that's up for debate. But comfort-wise, just like if you if you want to put something on your foot and walk around in it for a while and not think too much about it, I'm going to say these. I do want to get a little bit of a wear test in. I don't know if this was on the previous ones, but I just noticed on the back it says Ultra Boost like right across here. So that's just kind of a cool little touch. Anyway, so yeah, I'm going to do a wear test on these. Hopefully, I mean, I wanted, I would like to do one this weekend, but... I might have to have some weird work hours, so that probably won't happen. But past that, the fit of these, again, go with your normal size. Comfort-wise, super good. No complaints there. Comparison-wise, better than the previous model. There's your uh, wrap-up. But um, also, one thing I didn't quite get into beforehand was I mentioned that sometimes, I, or at the first moments, I was waiting on the new colors or a better price. These were marked down when I, when I bought them to 126 and still are, but there was a 20 or 30% off thing going on. Whatever took them down to $100 shipped, right? So that to me was the right price for something like this. Again, not my favorite color that I've seen, but it's one of the ones I did like and that price, I was like, you know what, I'm not going to pass this up. I'm going to jump on these and see how I feel about them. So how I feel about them, I'm going to buy more, right? I should have seen that coming, but that's the uh, that's where I stand with these. Just gonna wait on some some better colors or some or the right price again. So that's really it for the review and everything. I don't have anything else to say about these, honestly. Hopefully, if you uh, if you're thinking about some, if, if they're anything like the previous models, they will constantly be pumping out colors, which means the first wave of colors, things like this, will be dropping significantly in stores, online, whatever. So walk around, drive around, go to your outlets, go to your foot lockers, go to your JD Sportses. Wherever you go for shoes, go there, look for a pair of these. You'll probably be able to get a good deal. But you know, as always, try them on first. Unless you unless you really know your your sizing, then just go with it. That's what I did. But yeah, so this was a this was a good purchase in my opinion. No regrets. Anyways, so I don't have anything else to say about reviews for these because I've covered it all and I won't have another review for probably until next week because I think based on when the last order shipped, it probably won't be here till for a little bit. But whatever, uh, 
I, I pump out enough reviews as is, so I don't think I'm really losing followers from uh, any stagnation, so I think we're good in that department. I actually got a couple new ones today, so if you're one of them and you're watching this, thanks dude, or woman. Anyways, that's it for me. You guys have a nice rest of your day or rest of your night, whatever it is, wherever you are, and I am going to go and do schoolwork now because that's what I do, or try to do when I'm not doing this. All right, you, you guys will see me again soon though. I got a, I got another video to do, not too long from now. Not shoe, not a review, but a video all the same. All right, see you soon.